All right, well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring Road Trip Edition. Uh, so we are currently in Williamsburg, Virginia, as you may know from the previous video that we had posted. So now we are on our way home. It's Sunday morning. Uh, we got to get home. It's 8.30 already. Wow. Yeah. We got to get home for my nephew's birthday party today. Um, so we got to get from here in Williamsburg, Virginia, all the way back down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina in just a little bit so we can celebrate his birthday with him. So we're going to go ahead and get on the road right now. So let's take a look at the map and see what route that Ford uh, navigation wants us to take on the way there. Because we may have to stop three times considering we're leaving the hotel with only about 46% state of charge. So let's take a look at the map and we'll see you in just a second. Right, so we are just uh, getting ready to get out of here so we can go home and let's see how it wants to uh, calculate our trap trap our trip home so yeah it is assuming three chargers let's see where it's recommending Look at this. Nissan it wants to stop at a Nissan dealership that's ridiculous now we're not even going this way we want to go a different way we're actually gonna to go to Newport News so we're actually gonna go out a slightly different way of this area go out and then we're going to go down to 95 a different way so let me see if i can change this uh maybe there's a way i can just tell it to all right i decided to do it the hard way i could not get it to go the uh, the other route so we're just going to put in walmart for our first stop once we get there we'll charge up and then we'll recalculate this and hopefully it'll let us go the proper way which is uh down this way and back to 95 that way so Let's go ahead and get on the road and uh, see how this day goes. Right, made it to our first stop here at the Walmart in Newport News. This is the same charger we were at last time we were here. As some of you may remember, when I was completely sick <laughs> and trying to travel to the Outer Banks. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh-oh. Never mind. I take that back. Looks like we're going to need to find another charger. Take two on this morning. Oh, wow. Cables are a little stiff this morning. It's only in the uh, uh, 50s, lower 50s, I think. So hopefully we won't be here too long. I'm going to get this thing charged up and ready to go. And then uh, we're going to go check the map this time and see which way it wants us to go. Vehicle timeout. It's no longer communicating with the charger. Huh. All right, let's let's uh, let's try this again. All right, I went right for charging handle, too. I'm not even going to play this game today because we got time that we cannot waste weather's kind of crappy today it looks like we're gonna have overcast possibly some showers vehicle timeout well this is not a good thing um, all right let me try to charge it uh, manually with my phone here all right that doesn't look like that's working either huh try it one more time with this handle and if not we'll have to move chargers again Hold up on the handle like some of the old school tricks. There we go. Or is this because I have my phone close to it? Pay by credit card. What's where's my where's my plug-in charge? I'll try this again. Okay, it's connected to the vehicle. Let's see if it stays. Uh oh. This is going to be interesting. I think we just need to move chargers again. Oh, silly me. I forgot to record the last uh, two minutes of me talking here. Um, we got it plugged in finally on one of these other chargers. We're at 43% already. 75 kilowatts. The battery's probably a little cool because um, 
uh, yeah, we, we, it's over, it's only in the fifties out here today. And, um, you know, we drove about 20 miles to get here. Some of which was on the highway, but it's probably still a little bit cool, the car. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Hopefully this number will come up a little bit. If not, we shouldn't be here for too long, but we got to take a look at the navigation soon. So right after we got connected to this unit here, an ID4 uh, pulled in, pulled right up to the station that I was just having issues with right there. They seemed to be fine. They just walked away from their car as if everything was okay. I don't know if they verified to make sure it was okay, but yeah, I don't know. So they got better luck on that charger than I did. That charger there has some sort of weird DOS prompt on the screen. That's weird. This one here has the same issue, but this one ended up working for us. Thankfully, this stall has hi uh, has a bunch <laughs> more chargers here so at least there's plenty of uh plenty of places for people to charge up and actually this is the place where we saw a uh, ford e-transit walmart delivery van so they were actually charging up here one time which was kind of cool um but yeah so at least they have a lot of stations here so you know for faults like this it's not so bad but yeah let's uh let's take a look at the navigation here um, it's telling us to charge the vehicle to 63% and let's see why it wants us to charge to 63%. Wow, what is going on? Now it wants us to stop at four chargers on the way home. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, for one, it wants us to stop here. And then it wants us to stop here 98 miles. This looks like it's Emporia, Virginia again. Um, but I don't know if we're going to really need to stop there. I'm sure there's another one somewhere, somewhere around that we can probably stop at so we can at least cut the difference here because I'd like to kind of get a little further than just Emporia. That doesn't seem far enough. Uh, probably, well, no, I don't know what is actually between here, but yeah, we'll see. We just got to wait and see. I think, look at this, it wants to start at a charge point. I mean, I could get from these outlets to home no problem and it wants us to stop at this charge point charger. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But. You know, we're just going to uh, play this by ear. At least now the route is properly calculated. We're going the right way now. So at least we know we're going to go out here. And, you know, if we have to stop at Emporia, great. If not, I might try to recalculate as we get close and see if we can make it to the next charger, um, which that's the outlets there. And then from the outlets, we can get home. So no worries there. But I don't know why it's... I feel like we could get further. Yeah, look at see this blue circle? It keeps getting a little bit bigger. So... I think as long as we charge up to, you know, 80%, yeah, I don't see why we couldn't just make this this whole trip maybe even all the way down to the outlets. All right, we got to play this by ear. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, anyway, let's um let's let the car charge up and then we can uh we can get back on the road and I think I'll recalculate the nav and see where it wants us to do. In the meantime, uh, what are we at? 74 kilowatts at 50%. Not great, not terrible. Uh, it's probably because the battery's cold, I assume, I hope. Looks like a really awesome Mach-E just pulled up next to us. And, um, yeah. All right, well, we are now at 81% uh, state of charge. Of course, we hit the cliff. We're down to 29 kilowatts. Uh, so we just recalculated again, and now it's asking us, or telling us, to stop in Electrify America, the Sheets gas station, which is in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Now we could stop there or I could just stop at Emporia top off and then run faster because it looks like no matter which way we cut this, we need to stop twice today. And it's recommended we stop at this restaurant at a charge point, which I'm going to try to avoid um, because we could stop somewhere earlier than that at an Electrify America station. Um, either way, we got to figure out how we want to do this. So I can either stop earlier and not go to Rocky Mount. I don't think I can make it to the outlets from here because honestly, it's... I would have to need almost a full charge to do so, so I don't think I want to try that. Uh, and considering this weather, it looks like it may actually rain on us, and if we do, we don't want efficiency problems trying to make it uh, long distances today. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get back on the road, try to get to the sheet, or not try to get to the sheets, we'll definitely try to get to the sheets, um, or if we feel like it, we could stop earlier at Emporia, then fill up, and then stop one more time somewhere down here at another Electrify America probably the uh, premium outlets like we did on the way up but maybe we'll just stop in uh maybe we'll just stop here considering that this is a uh, new charger we haven't stopped there since last year since we uh stopped there with the ionic so maybe we'll stop there anyway but anyway let's get back on the road uh we got plenty of charge so uh let's see what we can do all right 82 percent 83 percent actually look at that i think we're overkilled right now but 
let's go ahead and get that. It's getting windy out here. I'm hoping we don't hit some rain. Rain's gonna really change the way this drive goes for us today, so let's see what we can do. All right, so we just got on the highway and it's showing roughly a 44 mile buffer that we currently have for this trip. So I'm curious between the wind and potential rain that we're gonna see, I'm curious to see if that 44 mile buffer will hold. So we're gonna try to get to that Sheets and Rocky Mount and uh, see how well we do. So let's see what our buffer is when we get there, 44 miles. We're also gonna try to beat that arrival time, 4.56 p.m. We need to be at the party at five, that's our goal. So we need to go home, stop there first, grab the gift, and then we need to get to the house by five o'clock. So we need to somehow make some extra time up here. So let's hope we can do that at the chargers and not so much on the road, but we'll see what we can do to make that arrival time be a little bit less than 456. Just got past Emporia, Virginia onto 95 now. So we're looking at 41% state of charge. So we're looking at a 46 mile buffer. So the buffer really hasn't changed uh, as we were driving, uh, which way we're going, westbound there to 95. Our time of arrival is now after five, just barely. So we still gotta make up some time here. So the next question is when we get to uh, Rocky Mount, do we sit there and try to deep charge and try to you know, hyper mile at home? Or do we try to do two stops that are you know, relatively quick and try to get home around that same time? I don't know. So we're gonna see. It looks like right now, I checked the Windy app and it looks like most of the wind is, is a tailwind for us. So we should be getting some extra efficiency. Three and a half miles per kilowatt hours where we're at right now. But now that the tailwind is behind us, I'm hoping uh, that we can pull out a little bit better even going faster. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we got about uh, 53 miles till um, to Rocky Mount. So here we go. All right, checking in. Low battery warning has come up. 50 miles of range left. We've got 24% battery and only 16 miles to the charger. So it's plenty, plenty, plenty of buffer. But we did burn through quite a bit of buffer. We'll go over all that when we get to the charging station. Made it to the Rocky Mount station here, 17% state of charge. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a buffer. 36 miles of buffer, so not too bad. Uh, let's take a look. So I think we did have a bit of a tailwind because our efficiency did not change and I was uh, a little bit pedal happy on the 95 there. A little, about two and a half hours of driving, just about 152 miles on the dot. Uh, here are all of our uh, statistics here for everything we did. We definitely had a tailwind because that speed should not be 58%, should be more like 30 something. But yeah, let's get plugged into the uh, Rocky Mount station here and see how things go. There we go.
Nice looking e-tron over here. That thing is cranking right now. You can just hear it. Pretty interesting station setup here. They have a 350, a 150, a 350, and then the Chatamo down at the end there. So I'm gonna I left the Chatamo open just in case. Fortunately I had to take up a 350 cabinet, but hey, you know what? No big deal. Not many other choices here. Hate for a Nissan Leaf to pull in. So let's see what we can uh, pull up on the charging now. Look at this spider web here. I'm not even going to touch it. Almost Halloween. All right, 17% state of charge. Come on, I want to see like 115. This battery's got to be nice and toasty now. Here we go, ramping up. There we go, now we're looking pretty good. Much better than this morning when we uh, hit that wall about 80 something kilowatts just because the battery was cold. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna go get something to eat, let this thing charge up, and then we're gonna decide, ooh, nice charger right there, 392 Hemi in it. So we're gonna let it charge up, and then we're gonna see about um, if we're going to try to make the long trip all the way home if we could possibly stretch it. I don't have it on the screen, but now we're gonna go see if we have to potentially make the long trip all the way home if we wanna stay here a little longer and uh, get some extra juice here and, and maybe we can pull the whole stretch all the way home as opposed to stopping one more time. Uh, Cause we're gonna be like this close to making it. So if the tailwind is good, um, maybe we'll give it a shot, but we'll see. We'll get back on the road and try it, and we're gonna get some lunch while we're here anyway, so we'll see if we're gonna stay here a little longer or if potentially we're just gonna get out when we hit 80% and then just stop somewhere else for another five minutes just to charge up and then get home. So we'll see about getting home by that five o'clock mark. All right, so by quick calculations, uh, according to Google, we are 203 miles from home. This is saying we're 211 miles from home. Right now at 82%, we have 193 miles uh, estimated, which is probably pretty accurate considering we're gonna be doing a lot of highway. So it is still recommending that we stop at this restaurant for, uh, for I guess, barbecue and um, some charging. I'm gonna redo that, I think, to uh, give us an Electrify America station. Oh boy, the only problem is there's no Electrify America stations anywhere near where we live. We're like 60 miles from the closest one, which means we'd have to continue down 95. Or we could stop at the outlets for a quick charge up somewhere in the middle. Which I think we're gonna do just because for the sake of uh, easiness for this trip, for getting on and off the highway, I think that's gonna be our best bet. Just a quick five minute charge up and then get back in the car and uh, get home kind of situation. So I think we should do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, Electrify America station thrown into the navigation here and then this way we can uh, we can get home as quickly as we can. So it's almost one o'clock. So uh, yeah, we got a few hours left to uh, to get home. All right, so I uh, changed the navigation to get us to the outlets, uh, which is only 46 miles away, which I know is not really all that um, great, but it's 46 miles closer to the house, so this way we would skip a charger after, after the outlets, because the next one would be like Florence, not Florence, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Lumberton, which I hate the Lumberton one. That one's always a pain. At least the outlets are good. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive 46 miles, get to these outlets, charge up for 10 minutes, this says 15 minutes, probably, maybe 10 or 15, and then just sh just book it home. We'll get home with enough charge, we'll plug it in there, and we'll be good to go. So let's burn some juice getting to those outlets to see uh, and see what we can do here.
checking in now. So we're between the Rocky Mount Charger that we just left and heading to Smithfield. A very short trip just so we could get a little bit more energy real quick at the outlet and then head on home. And we are we should get home with uh, plenty of time. Let's get moving on over here. Um, I love Blue Cruise hands free. This is this is great. <laughs> Just let the car do the thing. It's amazing. I love love this functionality and this Maki. -E. Fantastic. But right now we are looking to get to um, the next charger at uh, Smithfield in uh, what is it about 20 miles? So it's just um, just a few minutes, basically. It's about 20, 25 minutes to get to the next charger. It's 125, so it means we should be at the charger by about 150. 10 minutes to give us just enough energy to get going, and then back on the road again. So that means on the road by two, and then we should be home, according to this, by about 4.30, maybe a little after 4.30, which is perfect. That gives us plenty of time to get what we need done, get back in the car, and then get to the birthday party. So we still may make it by five o'clock, which is the goal. So we are cruising along right now, 95 in North Carolina. It's pretty wide open right now. So uh, everything looks good. The sun's out. We're finally getting some nice weather uh, now that we're out of Virginia, which is, seems to be getting some uh, rain right now. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good. So um, yeah. How about you? Would you like it? Yeah. Good? Very nice. How'd you like the trip? It was a good trip. Good trip? Bush Gardens was fun, right? It was. It was Very crowded. busy. <laughs> Very busy. It was busier at the end of October than it was in August when we went, yeah. which was a, a little surprising. So I don't know if it was the Halloween. I had to have been it. the Halloween event that was caused all that traffic. But hey, whatever. Good to see people out and about. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're on the trip. We'll see you at the charger, and uh, I think we might make it home in time. So we'll see. Well, this is embarrassing. We're at the outlets with 68% battery. It says we need to be at 80% to get home, 162 miles. So we gotta charge up for just a few minutes here. The good thing is, it says we're gonna be home early, early, early enough, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and plug in. We're gonna go use the restrooms and that's pretty much all we're doing. We're gonna get back in the car and back on the road because we are so close. Look, 163 to home 159 estimated i can probably make up that four miles difference but you know what it's not worth taking the chance today and trying to find some off off the highway charger somewhere down the road or somewhere in between you know 95 and home so we're just going to go ahead and charge up here get back on the road 81 percent down to 30 kilowatts we're done we're getting out of here Let's end this trip and get home. Flaps up. Back in the car. Hit the power button. Let's end this trip. Let's get home.
stretch on our way home. We get the low batteries uh, warning here. 49 miles left of battery and only about 11 miles to home. So we have plenty, plenty, plenty of buffer there. So um, yeah, I guess we're gonna uh, get home in a little bit with plenty of buffer. We'll go ahead and get it plugged in and charged and uh, that'll be that. We'll see you there. All right, made it home. Here's what we're looking at. 161 miles for the last leg. Two hours, 40 minutes, 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. We made up a lot of that because of uh, the slower roads between 95 and here, or 74 and here, technically. All our stats there in case you need to see them. And we would drive with 16%, uh, so pretty good road tripping. 38 mile buffer is what we ended up with, so it would have been very, very close had we uh, decided not to stop. But we could have just slowed down to conserve some of that energy. Let's take a look at uh, the whole trip. So this was today, six hours and 43 minutes of driving, 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, 380 miles today. Once again, all the stats there. And this should be the trip for the entire time that was there, back, and a little bit of driving around uh, Wilmington, Virginia. Wilmington? <laughs> where, where are we again? <laughs> ah, I already forgot. Williamsburg, that's it. This is around uh, driving there back and a little bit of driving around Williamsburg. 15 hours of total driving, three and a half miles per kilowatt hour. Overall, all the stats there. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Not really good according to the car. But anyway, that was it. We did pretty well. Another successful road trip in the Mach-E. All right, well, home sweet home. We have uh, gotten home successfully, perfectly fine with a decent state of charge, a little bit of a uh, little bit of buffer had we uh, needed it, but uh, we did it, which is good. The weather held up, it was great. 76 degrees outside, so uh, a little bit of um, air conditioning was used towards the end of the trip. A little bit of heat at the beginning of the trip. So just, you know, different types of uh, efficiency changes while, or, you know, while we drove, but a little bit of rain today as well. Yeah. But uh, overall, we had a fantastic trip, really quick trip, you know, Friday there, Sunday back. So, you know, just pretty much a lot of driving the last few days. And uh, yeah, that's it. We had a great time. And uh, maybe we'll do this again uh, next year sometime, go back up to Bush Gardens again. And of course, we'll probably take this car for the trip. Well, I think we're wrapping up this video, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up just below the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, facebook.com slash techmotoring, on Twitter, at techmotoring. I'd like to thank you very much again for watching this episode, and remember, welcome to the future. And welcome to techmotoring. We're on top of that now. All right, everybody, have a good one. We'll see you soon.